Well, hi there and welcome everyone to my channel. Today I have another side in a jar recipe for you. This one is for loaded mashed potato pancakes. And I'm just gonna load these potato pancakes with pretty much everything I like to put in my regular mashed potatoes, including milk and sour cream, butter and cheese, and some really good seasonings, including garlic powder and chef's choice. That cornstarch and those eggs are going to work as binders. You're gonna start with a cup of our mashed potatoes, and to that you will add some instant milk powder, some Parmesan cheese, this is a half a cup of pepper jack, I've got sour cream powder, I've got um, the scrambled eggs for the binder, like I mentioned, that is butter powder, here comes the cornstarch, and y'all, the green onions are so good in this recipe. Don't skip those. The seasonings are completely up to you. I like Chef's Choice garlic powder and salt and pepper. I end up adding some salt later, but that's up to you. Now the panko breadcrumbs, I use this as a coating on the outside of the potato pancake. They are optional. I do recommend them. I think they add a really nice crunch when you fry these up. But if you're trying to stay gluten free, you can just eliminate that altogether. You don't need them in order to have a crunchy uh, mashed potato pancake. And my friend Cheryl taught me that if you don't seal that little baggie, that the oxygen absorber will take care of any extra air that's inside the bag. So thanks Cheryl, great tip. My husband was really glad that I had to test out recipes this week because this is his new favorite. When you're ready to prepare them, all you have to do is remove your oxygen absorber and then take out those panko breadcrumbs if you included those in your jar. And you can just set those to the side because we'll use those later on. All right, and since you have the seasonings and all of the things kind of layered and they're not really mixed in, go ahead and give your mashed potatoes a good mixing so that everything incorporates, including the cornstarch and the seasonings. And then you'll add a cup and a half of hot water that was just very hot water from the tap. I think that adding the hot water will help the binding process start to happen. So that cheese will kind of start to melt and that will help to bind everything together. Now it's very important that this mixture is not liquidy. You want this to be a very dry mixture because it needs to turn into a pancake that will stay together. These are not gonna be as moist as regular mashed potatoes that you would serve. These need to be very dry, but not too dry. I end up adding a couple of tablespoons more of water because I had some dry patches of powder at the bottom of my bowl, but don't add too much. If it's too liquid, your potato pancakes will not hold together when you fry them. So it's really important that they stay pretty good and dry. Now this is where I had to add some salt because I realized I had forgotten to add salt before. The Chef's Choice does have some salt in it, but I like my mashed potatoes rather salty, um, so I added some more. And of course, this is it's up to you. When it's time to make the potato pancakes, I just use my ice cream scooper. Of course, you could use a measuring cup or whatever you like to use, but this recipe yields six potato pancakes, and each potato pancake is half of a cup. I love that ice cream scooper. I use it for muffins, ice cream, pancakes, evidently. I found it at the Goodwill, and it was a great buy. And you just want to shape these, give them a little pat and get them in, you know, the shape of a pancake, a circle shape. And just make sure that your edges don't crack. If your edges start to crack, kind of push them back together. See, they need to be about a half an inch thick. You don't want to get these too thin. You want them to be a pretty good thickness so that they don't fall apart when you fry them in the oil. <laughs> Get an 
everybody taken care of there. Yeah. And once everybody's in the right shape, you can get out your panko breadcrumbs. Just put those in a little bowl and I'll show you why. So you're gonna gently put your potato pancake in and just barely give it a pat, a tap. Not even, don't push it in there. It's just barely a pat. And then you give it a shake and it coats the sides for you. And that's what you do to all of them. One side, pat, pat, pat. The other side, pat, pat, pat. Give it a shake and it'll get the sides for you. So I, there's plenty of breadcrumbs to coat all six. I have some left over here, but one of those, I'm just going to fry without the coating so you can see what it looks like. Then I'm gonna take an iron skillet and preheat it on medium heat for probably five to seven minutes. Get it really good and hot. And then I'm gonna add enough avocado oil to coat the bottom of the pan. I was trying to show my daughter to be super careful when you put these in the oil and you'll be fine. And then I gave it a really good splatter. Whew. Anyway, so be careful when you put those in there. I cooked on a medium heat and just kind of moved them around a little bit. But each side needs to cook for about three minutes. I ended up turning the heat down just a tad. It ended up at four out of 10 on my stove. And then three minutes later, you're going to flip them over. I did the two spatula method for the flip, but you flip however you wanna flip. And just be careful because the, the oil is really hot. And another three minutes on the other side, and then they should be ready. Now this first one, it's hard to tell a difference, isn't it? This first one, that's the one that did not have the panko breadcrumbs. And when we went to eat, my husband couldn't tell either and he ended up accidentally eating most of the one I was gonna show you <laughs> without the panko breadcrumbs. But anyway, he just said they're both really good. So I ended up putting them on a tray and uh, or on a rack and putting them in the oven to stay warm. So there you go. You're gonna have six potato pancakes and that's what they look like on their own. Uh, and yeah, you hear that sound? It's a nice crunch. And just look at the interior here. That is gonna be a pillowy, white, soft interior. Your cheese will have melted. Look at those green onions. Oh my goodness, y'all. It's so yummy. Yeah, really good and crunchy. And here's the rest of that potato pancake that did not have the panko crumb coating. See, it's still nice and crispy on the outside. Can you hear that? It's nice, it's a nice crunchy exterior. Either way, I, I really do like the panko, but both ways is delicious. We had it twice this week, once with steak, once with chicken. And yeah, like I said, my husband was not upset that we had to do recipe testing. <laughs> well guys, thanks for joining me. I appreciate you so much. If you have any questions, let me know, leave me a comment. Be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, y'all take care and keep thriving.